Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, I'm not going to do any painting. There'll be no watching it paint it, but there'll be watching unboxing it. I'm going to just going to do a very, very quick unboxing video of Deck Box Dungeons. That's, that's surprisingly hard to say. This is like my hundredth time recording that very, very short intro. Anyway, let's move on. So this is a very, very small form factor game. It is for 14 plus, is it? I bet Sophie can play this. Uh, one to four players, except you do need two copies to play three to four players. So it's this single box is one to two. It's 30 to 60 minutes, and there is a companion app available on Steam, iOS, uh, what's that one, Android, or all, all of the major platforms which does play this game. So a little shout out to Oz in the uh, UK board gaming trade and chat group because it has often is the case other than with miniature games it's his fault i picked up a copy of this game he he mentioned it and i went and looked at it and thought yep that looks like my cup of tea this is a dungeon crawling game on a very very small scale and you guys you guys know i like massive darkness it's one of my favorite games actually so we get a small one now this i'll leave a link in the description below i'm not affiliated in any way shape or form but it will go to their site where you can pick this up and this is 25 pounds 25 pounds you say um when it looks like something like star realms and let's have a look what's in the box and you'll see why just because it's teeny tiny it does have some awesome components and yeah it's just not it's not a deck of cards it includes some cards but it has some actual pieces as well so it's just tiny but it's got actual components which i was super impressed with i couldn't believe they fit all this in this tiny box oh, i should mention it's by who aria 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 studios but i don't know anything else by them i hope i see more though so within the box you get a rule book and they have advised me already just to go and get the latest version of the rules so that's really really i actually like that it's a little bit disappointing that the rule book you know is probably outdated as that comes in the box but it's not very much anyway so you're not losing much but it's nice that they're updating the rules and keeping it you know fresh they've obviously found problems with it or enhancements one or the other and either way it's just you know i i, I quite like that in a company then you know it's not just we've written some rules that don't quite work or can't be improved and just live with it they're like go and get the latest rules download it and print them off sort of thing so you get a bunch of cards in this game if i could open them i can never open these like quick open oh these feel like high quality linen finish style oh yeah they are I feel like i've got two because it's so thick they're super thick linen finished and then you get just a bunch of cards you it's it's what you'd expect from a dungeon crawler there's a bunch of map tiles they're all double-sided there's a bunch of player things double-sided i guess this is an enemy again is that an enemy looks like it's probably an enemy i can't tell which of the heroes and which of the enemies because i've not played it yet you get a bunch of items maps they're in random order so you've got to sort them out more items or weapons i don't know if they're distinguishably different some more enemies a skill card it looks like yes some sort of skill cards more items more map tiles health card a little health tracker more items what else we've got loads more those treasure cards or oh that's not the item pile energy cards so you've got a bunch of energy and i want the heroes is this a hero could well be maybe these are the heroes maybe they've got names yeah i guess so so double-sided heroes i think there's sort of six heroes in the game to choose from and then their classes or types and whatnot and a bunch of items and enemies and map tiles now the the app as i mentioned i can't show you the app because my phone's recording this so a little bit difficult oh maybe i can get it to come up on the screen maybe maybe it's here is it here we'll find out later but nevertheless there's an app and it allows you to randomly generate the dungeon as you go through exploring it tells you which tiles to put down i think and what what's in there and what's not in there so yeah little little dungeon crawler pretty cool what else did we get in the box you get some custom meeples so are they all the same they most certainly are not. This one's got a tiny little sword. Let's get them all out. That must be the sort of war. Oh dear. Bye bye, green. I barely knew you resurrected. And um, that's some sort of, looks like a thief or something. Hard to tell, but yeah, they're all custom. Look, little monk. I recognize a monk in a meeple form. He looks like a little karate guy. And then yeah, looks like standard warrior or paladin. He's got a shield, by the look of it as well. Oh, he also looks like a monk. 
because he's got stick. Donatello. Donatello's in this game. Sweet. And then some dice. So you've got some normal D6s by the look of it, which I'm not sure what they're for. <clears throat> Enemies, potentially. Can't remember. And then all these custom dice as well, which actually look like the enemy dice. So we'll find out. I'm going to find out how to play this game. But basically, it's a dungeon crawler in a teeny tiny form, which I can take anywhere. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let me know in the comments below if you've played it and you've enjoyed this game. If you would like to see me do a playthrough, you can always do that. Let me know in the comments. And then finally, a review. Do you want me to actually sit down and play this and let you guys know what I think? Thank you all ever so much for watching. And I'll stop stop suggesting games i have to fill up my house with games thank you all see you again soon